Hey guys, so this is going to be my accessories collection and I'm actually going to, in my makeup room tour, you guys kind of saw where I kept my um, accessories, but I'm going to go ahead and just film it and like get kind of in-depth um, into it and stuff like that. That way you guys can get a closer look of actually what kind of jewelry I have and also how I store it. Um, the link to the like mirrored armoire thing that I have will be down below. I got it on eBay and it was pretty pricey. I want to say I paid about $180 for it, but definitely well worth it. I have seen plenty of people here on YouTube actually have this. In fact, when I first got the armoire, my, the idea came from Fafanetics. I don't even know that she does videos anymore. It's been probably a year and a half since, I, since I've actually watched her videos, but I did get the idea from her. But I just thought it was so perfect for actually like displaying jewelry and stuff like that and it also just I mean it, it goes perfectly with my girly room so I'm gonna go ahead and um, jump into that so that I can show you guys how I store my accessories and what kind of accessories I have okay so here is where I keep my accessories which you guys saw in my updated makeup room tour my new makeup room tour so this um, full-length mirror is a jewelry armoire. I got it from eBay, like I said. I will post a link down below. It was in my other video, my makeup room tour, and I got a lot of compliments on it. Like I said, I got it initially from Fafanetics here on YouTube a couple of years ago. Well, it was quite pricey, but definitely worth it. So before I just give you a sneak peek, now I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. So it is a full-length mirror. They have it in white, like a cherry color and a light brown. It does have a lock. Mine doesn't lock because it doesn't close all the way, but it does lock if you wanted it to. And as you can see um, here, you could actually push the mirror forward or backward if you wanted it to not tilt, if you wanted it to like sit up straight and stuff like that. So when you open it, um, it opens like this, and it does open all the way. Here's the full display of it here. As you can see here on the left, it does have uh, holders for earrings. And all of the actual, like, I don't know, numbers that it holds, I'll put it down below so you guys can get a better idea. But you can see here I have a ton of earrings and I still have more room left. So um, on top, I have them. Obviously, you guys know I'm a freak when it comes to organization. So I have them by size and colored pearls. So I have biggest to smaller like a gray color tone. A lot of my earrings are from Forever 21, like cheap places like that. I don't keep any of my nicer, nicer jewelry in this armoire. I only keep costume jewelry here. So then, yeah, like I was saying, the pearls are on top. I do have like silver, like silver studs um, with rhinestones on up to like gray toned ones, black, black, <laughs> and then I have rose gold, and then these are a couple golds. As you can see, I have more pearl and silver and like rhinestone um, studs versus gold. I really need to get some more gold jewelry in general. That's like one of my goals, so <laughs> I'm missing a pair right here. And then I have a pair of silver hoops, and once I go from my studs, I like to keep all my studs together, and then I put all my dangly earrings here. The only thing I don't like about this is that dangly earrings, if they're really long, tend to overlap to the next space. So I'm the type of person that likes to see everything laid out. If you don't care, then you can definitely utilize the bottom here, but I don't like that, so I do not utilize it if they hang over. So I just have some random ones. This kind of doesn't have any particular order. I just kind of did it like these ones don't touch the bottom bar, or I could put a set of earrings down here. And then these ones are a little bit longer. Some of them do overlap, like these overlap, these overlap. These overlap a little bit, but not too much to where I can't see the earring on the bottom. These ones overlap quite a bit, but again, I can still see the earring on the bottom. As you can see here, like these ones, I can't, wouldn't be able to see the earring, so I don't have anything hanging. And these are definitely my longest earrings, so I don't have anything beneath them. And then moving down, um, this bar actually could be, I guess, for anything you wanted it to be. I have my bracelets on it, though. So on the left side, I have gold. Um, bronze bracelets and I have rose gold here again don't have too many of them I, a lot of these pieces are from Jewel Mint like this is Jewel Mint, Jewel Mint I, I've acquired them you know fairly recently through Jewel Mint and I have a couple pieces that are still missing on this side is nothing but um, I guess you could say like sparkly jewelry and uh, black and silver you have a bangle here and um, a pearl 
So again, none of my like expensive jewelry is here, just kind of cheapy costume jewelry. Then moving down from the bracelet bar, you have this, and this actually is advertised on eBay to be like a little bracelet holder as well. But because I have, I don't have too many bracelets, it was easier for me to put them up here and then just hang additional necklaces down here. So there's quite a few hooks if you can see. They kind of scatter one down, one up. And on here I have some of my shorter colored necklaces. Again, just from all different kinds of brands. A lot of them are from Premier Jewelry. Some of them are from um, Forever 21. I think I have a couple from Charlotte Russe, like this one's from Premier Jewelry, so is this one. So as you can see, I do have a couple extra hooks up there. And then on the bottom I have nothing but silver and then one pearl, and these are for all of my longer necklaces, ones that were just too long, because as you can see the hooks start here. And I don't really like the fact that these overlap, but it's enough that most of my longer, uh, most of my longer necklaces is, like I can see what it is just by looking at the bottom. So, again, most of this is Premier Jewelry. And if you've um, seen Premier before, then you probably recognize some of these pieces. Like, this one's really popular. I don't remember what it's called. But I think this one is a runway and um, a pearl. And so, yeah, those are all of my silver and, like, black... I don't know, <laughs> gray, dark jewelry tones. All right, so then moving up toward the top of the right side, here you can hold all kinds of rings. So I actually did do a DIY um, create your own ring holder thing out of the old Jumit boxes. I'll post that video down below because it's actually pretty creative and very informative, I guess you could say, if you want to create something like this. Okay, so again, this is the same idea. I have all of my like dark tone, black jewelry, gray jewelry, stuff like that silver on the left side. I have one colored ring um, and then all of my gold on the right side. And there is a pattern. I have like smaller dainty rings on the top in gold and silver and then I have chunkier rings and two, two finger rings on the bottom. As you can see I don't really have too many rings. I do that's something along with bracelets that I really do need to acquire but you know for what I have most of it's from Jewel Mint or Forever 21. And then moving down, it has another set of hooks for more um, necklace pieces, or really you could hang whatever you want here, but I just have a ton of necklaces, like too many. I have too many earrings and too many necklaces, I need to work on other stuff. So here I have all of my um, gold tone, rose gold, brown neutral type, um, I don't know, necklaces, yeah. So this one is just like a real chunky one that I got from Forever 21. Again, this is Premier. All of them are gold tone. The, these two are from Jewel Mint. Yeah. And then I have one random colored necklace here. So again, could probably use more gold because I definitely have way more silver and short bracelets than I do gold. And I really love like this whole entire thing, but the things that I love most about it are definitely these drawers because if you have odd shaped jewelry or you have, I don't know, bracelets that are just too big, earrings that are just too big, it can all, oops, sorry, it can all go in these little um, cubby holes, I guess you could say. So in here I have a necklace, I actually wore this for the wedding, I have a pair of huge hoops that I'll probably never wear, but they don't really fit up on the earring thing. This is a wrap bracelet that I absolutely love. I have some of these beaded bracelets, um, I think those are from Forever 21. I kneel down so you guys could get a closer look. This is, I think these are... I don't remember what they're actually called, but these are like from Hawaii. It was a bracelet. There's some kind of nuts. I don't remember. If you know, link it down below. <laughs> or leave a comment down below saying what they are. Um, that was my Hawaii bracelet. And I also have some brooches here and some... This is from Premier Jewelry. It's a magnetic closure that... Um, I guess it's just like a pendant. You could hang on any kind of necklace. It opens like that and then you can close it shut. And you can hang it on any kind of necklace that you want. So I have that one. And then I also have this like little necklace plate thing. And then this one as well. This is really pretty and dainty. So yeah, those are all from Premier. But I have those because I don't have them on a necklace right now. So they're perfect to hit in there. And then down here, I think I got these from... I can't even remember. I want to say I got them from either Hawaii or LA. But they're just like little pins for your hair. 
I have a set in black and a set in pink. I have two bangles that are just a little bit too big to fit over there. These are all empty. Here I have all of my jewel mint, like little things, um, the felt bags that the jewelry comes in. This is great for traveling. I have a flower brooch here that's like too big to go anywhere else. This is awesome to have. You always want to have extra of these little like beads for your earrings in case you lose the backings to them. This is a necklace. This necklace and this necklace are both broken. I just leave them down here because I don't want to get rid of them, but I need to fix them for sure. And then this is like just um, random <laughs> random uh, bracelets. This is an I Heart Boobies. This is one of those bracelets that you like are supposed to gain stability from. I have a Hello Kitty and then a Relay for Life bracelet that glows. So. That is that. Oh, and if you're wondering what's on my nails, it is OPI Sweetheart. Yeah, so that is how I store my accessories. I'm going to go ahead and show you in my bedroom how I store my, like, nicer jewelry. Um, just so you guys maybe can get some ideas from that as well. All right, obviously we're in my bedroom. You guys have kind of seen this layout before because here's all my... Um, perfumes that I showed you in my perfume collection video but what I have here this story box is from uh, Target I believe yeah it has to be because I got it as a bridal shower present for uh, from our wedding and I registered at Target so and Bed Bath & Beyond no I'm pretty sure it's from Target but anyway this is like a little more personal jewelry box that I have some of my nicer jewelry in I guess I'll pan back again so here starting off here this thing is from Things Remembered as you can see, it says Melissa and Andres, October 8th, 2011. I got this engraved at Things Remembered. I got my mom one also as like a wedding present. And um, yeah, hers is a little bit more, more personal. But what I keep in here is some of my nicer like silver jewelry. So I have my two-tone Pandora bracelet. I have my all silver Pandora bracelet. I have a tennis bracelet, a diamond tennis bracelet that... I think on the rest got it for me for some Christmas. I don't remember if it was our first or second Christmas, but yeah, I love that. It is real diamond. And then this was my promise ring. I have crazy difference, right? That was my promise ring. If you've been following me for a long time, then you've actually seen it in some of my videos. And then this is um, a black diamond ring. That's from K Jewelers that he got me either for our anniversary or... I don't know, Christmas or a birthday or something. So yeah, and then normally I put my ring in here as well. So that sits here um, on top of the dresser. And then here I actually have some of the jewelry that needs to go back into the thing. Um, uh, some earrings, a ring, and a necklace, and a bracelet. So yeah, I was wearing that the other day. That needs to go back. But then back to this. Oh, I guess I'll show you this first. So this is a... I don't know what these are actually called, like I guess a jewelry display. I don't I don't know. I got it from the container store. If I can find a link to it, I'll link it down below. But um, I think it was like $15 or $20 well worth it if you have a lot of watches. So these three watches are just like little cheapy plastic watches that I got from the mall. I think they're about $20 a piece. I have a black one, like a purple pink and a fuchsia pink. And I wear these for nursing because they're water resistant. They're only $20 and they kind of match with my scrubs. So yeah, I bought those for nursing so I can kind of interchange. I have to have a watch. And then these are my more expensive watches. Um, this is my guest watch, the white bracelet. I, I think this is discontinued, but um, I got it for Christmas a couple years back. And then this is a Michael Kors rose gold. I don't remember the number to it, let me see, oh, it's the 5412, I'll try and find a link to it down below and post it, but yeah, it's the one in rose gold, I got that one for Christmas, and then this is my newest edition, love this, this is a Michael Kors large runway watch in gold, and it's the MK8077, absolutely love that watch, I'm so obsessed, like, it has a huge face compared to the other two, but I absolutely love it, and I really want to get the rose gold and the silver in it as well. So that's how I display my watches. So back to how I store the rest of my jewelry. This is a travel jewelry little case. I think I showed it in a haul video. This actually works really well. I got it from TJ Maxx. It um, unzips, and it has lots of places to keep your jewelry, and it's, it folds, and then it snaps back when you're ready to travel with it. So it's really convenient, and I like that a lot. So then this I loved because it... <laughs> definitely goes with my room the black whole black and white theme in the inside here I have some um, let me see these earrings I got they're from K Jewelers I got on the desk got these for me for our wedding day present 
and if you watch my wedding video then you probably saw them but yeah he got those from me there this is a box to them these earrings are just diamond earrings but they're really special to me because they were made out of my great grandmother's um, wedding ring we got these made for the wedding as well and then here are some plumeria flower earrings with diamonds in them these are from Hawaii and then just some gold hoops and then as you can see it has a big mirror there which is really convenient if you do use that as like a vanity type so then this pulls out and I have four necklaces in here these are more of like my more expensive necklaces um, this first one is just a white gold chain it has um, I don't remember what this is called but I don't remember what the diamond size is, is it in it either but it's from K Jewelers and then this is the Tiffany locket with the pink sapphire I think is what it was and that's from Tiffany & Co this is from James Avery this is like one of the first gifts he gave me it's half a heart I don't remember what the whole thing says but he has the other half this is my name necklace I got this a while back I got the coupon code from YouTube and everything I think I got it maybe a year and a half ago around Christmas time of course it says Melissa and then this is really special to me too this is something that we had made again the three diamonds in the center are from my great grandmother's wedding band and wedding ring and that was for the wedding as well my mom made that jewelry for me and then if you open this side I just have um, a few necklaces in here this is actually a bracelet for right now because I haven't pieced it back together but this is the Hello Kitty Swarovski necklace that my stepdad got me for um, a wedding present super cute this is a pretty expensive necklace to just be hanging around anywhere so I keep that in there for safety these drawers do open up the first drawer I'm just gonna go through is where I have all of my atomizer perfume atomizers second drawer has um, again some fresh water pearls that I got from Hawaii that I just need to put in the earrings um, I guess some extra buttons um, this is a premier jewelry bracelet that I don't know I have it over here and then this is my James Avery charm bracelet that I actually have been collecting since I was um, 15 I have all kinds of charms in here actually I think I got one for 13 I don't really remember I've had this forever and it's one of those things that like I don't wear it anymore it's kind of out of my age range but it um, definitely is sentimental enough for me to keep and then the very bottom is like more rings this is my class ring of course I had to have pink a pink stone and then I have my plumeria ring with the diamond I have my um, graduation ring from uh, with my bachelors and then this is from Pandora my mom got it for me for the wedding. So yeah I hope you guys that have been asking me for this especially since I filmed my room tour it was worth it for you for the wait and I hope you guys like it if you have any other ideas of storage ways like cute ways to display I don't know <laughs> like costume rings and stuff like that that'd be great because I'm always looking for cute ways but other than that this is working perfectly for me like I said links down below if you do happen to have any questions or comments about it or anything don't forget to leave them in the comment section and I will be happy to reply thanks for watching guys see you in my next one bye